hi everyone in my previous tutorial I have shown you installation of Android studio in detail and now in this tutorial we will be seeing how to use Android studio to build our first app so here this is the screen we get so first of all we need to create a new project so click on a start a new project so we will get a new dialog box in which we need to give the name of application like if you are giving a it's my first application so give the name as first application and then the domain it's the package name which we have mentioned in Eclipse and so here also you can mention the package name depending upon your wish so I will be leaving as this if you need you may change it and project location I am giving my default project location and then so here these are the minimum requirements we need to set for our app so out of the available APIs from API 1.0 to API 2.1 so I am selecting honeycomb for this project and TV and where are these two are uh, so we will be seeing them in our further coming tutorials so here we need to select an activity actually if you are an Eclipse user you will be new to this kind of environment but don't worry in these tutorials we will be seeing and we need to select an activity from the available activities so here it's a blank activity it's a very qu common activity we will select for any type of application and blank activity with fragment and full screen activities generally used for gaming purpose and for chart applications and this is google maps activity used to trace the locations and to point out the locations on a map and google play services activity i think you have uh, every android user will have the user interface of google play experience of using this activity and login activity most of the chart applications will have this login activity and master activity and navigation drawer these are the activities which are used to uh, explain the about a product or something like that and in the settings activity is a activity for every at a application we'll be seeing this type of activity we'll be dealing with these activities and this is a tab activity where two or three activities lying side by side we will swipe the activities to see the information so in the first tutorial I am selecting a blank activity and then we need to give a name for the activity actually you you can use the same name which is a basic uh, main activity so I am using the same one and then click on finish so now our project will be built so here building our application so here our studio is completely loaded and here is, is our first application that we have started and here you can see the java files and this is the screen so I will be explaining you from the first folder <coughs> it's a manifest folder so manifest file so in this manifest file we will be declaring all the activities that we use in our application if at all we haven't uh, declared any activity in manifest file that particular activity will not run while your application is working so if at all you have given a login screen for your application 
and after login it must go to some screen right so if you have not mentioned the second screen after the login activity is done your app will be closed then and there so the main importance of manifest file here is that you need to provide all the activities that you are using in your application so presently we are using only single activity that's why we have given only main activity and it's a launcher what is a launcher means uh, the activity which loads upon your application loading after you are installing your application the first screen which we you will be seeing is a launcher activity so we have mentioned main act only main activity right now but as we proceed in uh, adding new screens we need to add those screens to manifest file and here you can see android icon drawable ic launcher what is this drawable ic launcher actually drawable i would be explaining you detailly what is a drawable but right now remember it's a folder and in that folder ic launcher is an image so the basic image which you see on your application likewise uh, on your uh, android screen menu you see the application right that application image we will be mentioning here whatever the image you want uh, it's like a logo for your application and here the name of your application and this is the theme for your application and here comes our second folder which is java folder where file where we will will be coding java coding for our application and the next comes our rest folder where we have a drawable folder this drawable folder consists of four different kinds of pics so all the images are same but they are categorized depending upon their sizes so for a small screen device we use a small image for a larger screen device like a tablet we use a larger size image so we get all those uh, images and we will place them in this drawable folder so that we can use those images in our coding and the third folder comes our layout folder here the screen you can see the screen here you can see is what you will be seeing when you open an application the designing part will be done in this uh, layout and the next comes our menu so this menu particular folder i will be explaining you while we do our programs why because this menu folder will be useful uh, while coding uh, especially while coding a java java coding for our application why because we create a small kind of menus for exit or for uh, feedback like uh, we'll be creating some buttons for that purpose we use this menu and next comes our values in this particular values we will come up with a uh, strings uh, what are all the strings we use in our uh, layout like here you can see at the red string hello world actually these are uh, written in the strings folder and we will be using those uh, keywords here so that the string will be appeared on the screen and the next one is styles the font different font styles font sizes and font colors uh, if you want to make any change in the uh, how the text appears on the screen we can use different types of fonts all those fonts should be uh, applied in this time in our coming tutorials i will be explain how to code your first application okay so thanks for watching please do subscribe to my channel